Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Molly, the Belgian Malinois, head started. You're going to need your hook, your yarn. I'm using this light brown so you can see it on camera. Um, but her head starts in the color black and then you switch to the color light brown after row or on row 17. Okay, so I'm using a size 4. I would normally be using a 3.5, but you can see the stitch is better with this uh, bigger hook. Okay, so we're going to start with a magic ring. So you're just going to grab two fingers like this. You're going to wrap it around your fingers and cross it on top. You're going to insert your hook underneath the first loop over to the second one and pull it through. Okay. Then you're going to want to chain one. Okay. So now we're going to do eight single crochets into this magic ring. So one, two, three, four, Six, seven, and eight. Okay, oops. Once you have your eight, make sure you count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You, then you can go ahead and pull the tail, making sure you pull tight. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and increase in every single crochet all around. So you're going to put two in each stitch. So you're going to go one single crochet in the first one, and then the second one will be in the same stitch. So you go back into the same hole. Yay. So that's two. Okay. Okay, then we're going to do two in the next one. So three, four, and so on. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, then if the little hole magic ring uh, loosens up, you can go ahead and just pull the tail to yeah. close that tight. <laughs> My son is running around, so you might hear him in the yeah. background. <laughs> okay, once you have 16, you can go ahead and put your stitch marker on the last single crochet okay and then we're going to start round three for round three you're going to go ahead and single crochet 16 all around so you're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around make sure you count so that you don't lose to make sure that you have enough stitches because i know sometimes i get distracted and i end up skipping one or i end up adding two into one okay so one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15 and 16 okay so that's the end of round three for round four we're going to go ahead and increase and then single crochet eight times and you're going to end up with a stitch count of 24 
So we're going to go ahead and put two single crochets into the first one for an increase. So it's going to be one, two, and then for the next one, it's going to be a single crochet. So then three, and you're going to go ahead and repeat that all the way around eight times. So that's one set of repeats. Then we're going to increase again and then single crochet in the next one. And that's two sets of repeats. And you're going to go all the way around. So the next one would be an increase. And then a single crochet in the next one. Once more, increase. And then one. All the way around till you get to the end. Okay, go ahead and increase, and then the last one will be a single crochet. Okay, and then you should be, you should have 24. You can always count them to make sure that you have the right stitches. I know when you first start, um, you can sometimes get it a wrong stitch count. I know when I first started, I used to mess up a lot. <laughs> It gets easier with more practice, but okay. So then for round five, we're going to go ahead and do seven single crochets increase. And that's going to be a set of three. Um, I guess the pattern of three. So, so you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're going to go ahead and increase after the seventh single crochet. So whatever you see in the pattern that's in a bracket is what you're going to go ahead and repeat over and over. Okay, so let's see, we're going to do that again. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So then we're going to increase on the next one, on the eighth stitch. Okay, and then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and increase on the last one. Okay, and you should have 27 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, for the next one, we're going to go ahead and do, for round six, we're going to do eight single crochets and then increase. So you will do eight. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then increase on the ninth stitch. And you're going to do that all the way around. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then increase on the ninth stitch. Okay, I'm going to repeat it one more time. So one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, and 
on the ninth, you're going to increase. Okay, for round eight, we're going to go ahead. Oh no, for round seven, we're going to go ahead and do nine single crochets and then increase for a total of 33 stitches. So on the 10th stitch, you will be doing your increase. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you're going to go ahead and increase on the 10th, on the 10th stitch. So two single crochets in there. Okay. Then you're going to repeat that again. So one, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine. On the 10th, you're going to go ahead and increase in here. Okay, and then one more time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then increase on the last one. Okay, so it should start forming a little shape. Okay, and then for round eight, we're going to go ahead and do one single crochet in each of the 33 stitches all the way around. So just how, like you've been doing, just instead of increasing, it's just one single crochet in each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oops, 20. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, <clears throat> twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, and thirty three. Okay, and then for round nine, it's going to be 10 single crochet and then an increase on the 11th stitch three times for a total of 36. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then increase on the eleventh. Then you're going to repeat that again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, then increase, and then one more time. So one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then it's going to be an increase on the next round and the next stitch. Okay, and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this. So, see how it's getting its little shape here? So, this is going to be the beginning of the snout. Your, the nose would be around here okay and then for round 10 you're going to do the same thing so you're going to do 11 single crochets so and then on the 12th stitch you're going to go ahead and increase and then for round 11 and 12 you're just going to put one single crochet all the way around and so on so whenever you see a little bracket and it says times three you're just going to do whatever is inside the brackets times whatever number it says to do. Just make sure you always count at the end. And then like for round 17, it says three single crochets and then you're gonna switch to brown. Then you're gonna single crochet one and then increase. Then you will repeat what's inside the brackets and then continue. So if you use a smaller hook, your stitches will look a lot more uniformed and tight so I'll see like this one that I have here oops he has some hairs on him <laughs> okay so like for this little guy I used a 3.5 hook and the stitches are a lot tighter than this so the bigger the hook the bigger the snout see You can always add um, some eyelashes and stuff and some white for the eyes to make it look more realistic.